study we have a lot of great things planned but before we get into it we're going to start with some praise
of you guys love traveling. I mean, I love going different places. I especially love flying. <laughs> it's my favorite. But the thing I really dislike is getting bad news during my trip. Like, have you ever gotten bad news while traveling? Or, or maybe your trip was delayed because of weather or issues with the transportation. Think about it. You've been planning this out for a long time to take a trip that you're really excited about and then suddenly you find out that your flight got canceled. It's the worst news. But I'll tell you this, anytime I receive bad news, I always feel 10 times better when I get good news. It makes me appreciate it more. The difficult times make you appreciate the good times much more. And now that I think about it, I'd love to share a Bible story with you. This is about God's people, the people of Judah, and the people of Edom. Actually, God sent a messenger with bad news for the people of Edom because of the way they treated his people. But the messenger had good news for God's people too. In today's Bible story, Obadiah was the prophet God sent to deliver his message. Although God had chosen Obadiah for the job, Obadiah was not perfect, <laughs> like at all. Is there any such thing as a perfect prophet? Well, of course there is, it's Jesus. Let's take a look at our main question and answer. How is Jesus the perfect prophet? Well, Jesus perfectly reveals God the Father and fulfills what prophets spoke. Do you remember when we talked about the brothers Jacob and Esau? Well, the people of Judah were descendants of Jacob and the people of Edom were descendants of Esau. Though they were related, they did not treat each other like family. I mean, they did not like each other. The Edomites mistreated God's people, so God sent a message through the prophet Obadiah. This story is just one piece of God's great story, the gospel. All the stories in the Bible fit together to tell one big story of how God rescues sinners through his son, Jesus. So let's check out today's story, Obadiah the prophet. God sent a message to Obadiah the prophet in a vision. God had news about a country called Edom. The people who lived in Edom were like brothers to the people in Judah. Both groups were descendants of Isaac's twin sons, Jacob and Esau. The people in Edom came from the family of Esau. God's people came from the family of Jacob. The people of Edom didn't love God. They worshiped false gods. They lived in the mountains and trusted the mountains and their own strength to protect them. The people thought that they were better than everyone else. The Edomites didn't get along with God's people in Judah. When the Babylonians took over the city of Jerusalem, the people in Edom just sat back and watched. They didn't try to protect Judah. The people of Edom even went into Jerusalem and took things that didn't belong to them. God said he was going to punish Edom. Listen up, God said. Out of all the nations, you will be the least important. No one will like you. You were proud and I will punish you. You thought you were safe, but I will bring you down. Obadiah's message for the people of Edom was bad news. God was going to allow Edom's enemies to take away everything they had. Even the people who were their friends would steal from them. Many people would be killed. God said to Edom, you were cruel to the people in Judah, so you will be punished. When Judah needed your help, you stood back and did nothing. You laughed and were happy that they were attacked. Every bad thing you did to others will be done to you. The day of the Lord is near, Obadiah warned. Every evil thing you did to others will be done to you. God said that the bad things that were happening to his people in Judah were only for a little while. God would deliver his people. But when I punish you, Edom, God said, everything will be destroyed. Obadiah's message from God had good news for God's people. My people will have the land that belongs to Edom, God said. God's people would return to their homes and God would take care of his people. But Edom's punishment was forever. Like God's people were mistreated by the people of Edom, Jesus was mistreated by his own people. God will punish sin. Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment we deserve for our sin. We can trust Jesus to make wrong things right. 
The two groups were practically family, yet the people of Edom refused to help another nation. The people of Edom trusted in their own strength. And you know what, if you look at Obadiah chapters three and four, Edom was so far from God that they chose to laugh at the pain of other nations instead of helping them. God sent his messenger, the prophet Obadiah, to deliver bad news. God would make the wrong things right. Edom was about to learn the hard way that their opinion of God did not change the truth about who he is. God is a God whether or not people choose to worship him. God promised to restore Israel and rule the earth as king. God's people were treated unfairly by their brother Edom. In a similar way, Jesus was mistreated by his own people. Like Edom, we too are guilty of idolatry, which is trusting in and worshiping things or people that are not God. This is a sin and God will punish sin. Remember, sin is anything that separates us from God. So if we are putting something above God, we're definitely allowing sin and idolatry to come into our life. Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment we deserve for our sin. We can trust Jesus to make wrong things right. And that's something we should want to share. We can all be part of God's family and experience his love and forgiveness. And if you wanna be a part of God's family, why don't you repeat this prayer after me? God, I love you. Thank you for your son, Jesus, and the sacrifice he made for my sins. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you are Lord. Forgive me of my sins and make me clean. Now God, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me and guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Man, that is so easy. God loves you so much and wants you to continue to grow, no matter where you are, no matter what kind of news you're getting. Remember, we still have a part to play. We should want to make choices every day that show others the love of God. And speaking of making choices, I'm going to make a choice right now to go to Timbuktu, find a tarantula, and try to brush its teeth with a toothbrush. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys later.